Uh, veteran sports presenter Tony Gubber, the lovely Tony, mm. a voice of Dancing and Ice, uh, died just hours after uh, after the live final. We knew that he was poorly. We knew about three weeks ago that he was very poorly, which is why he didn't do the last three shows. He didn't want to fuss, um, and so so we we just wished him well on the show, and then that was that really. But everybody knew that he was he was um, he was going to. So he had that wonderful voice, poorly. didn't he? Just he really did. Like a chocolatey, lovely voice. But, but well, he came to us, of course, after this incredible sporting career. Mm. And, and this is a man who covered every Olympic Games, both summer and winter, from 1972 to 2012. Covered uh, his beloved football, the World Cup, from 74 to 2006. You know, an amazing voice and a great knowledge. I remember when I was doing Dancing on Ice, and he used to always sort of give the commentary during as the scores were going up, and then I'd have to walk on. And sometimes he would say quite outrageous things and very <laughs> funny, and I'd be the first one that it would have to cut to off the back of those comments. Um, it's, it's and he had great humour. He, he, he did dancing and all the other sports. I'm not even qualified to watch that many sports, yes. <laughs> and everybody loved the way he did it. And as you say, he had a wonderful voice, you could listen to that all day. But yeah. only 69, that's too young. Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, lots it and is. lots of love uh, to, to his family, and we'll miss a remarkable and lovely man. Yeah.